again. Mom said we should go home. So we set out our journey on August the 8th. The same good date as the closing ceremony of the Olympics Games. Then we went across the Yanjiang River, heading south to our home. It was the curiosity about the world outside that led our family to move northward in the bright April. Our family went all the way north. We started our journey without hesitate. I have always been told that the place where we live is called Yunnan, and we always thought that this piece of rainforest land under our feet was already the home of Yunnan. But unexpectedly after we had walked more than 500 kilometers over 100 days, we found ourselves still in Yunnan. It is much bigger than we imagined. It is worthy of our long journey to explore the huge territory of Yunnan. We have enjoyed ourselves there. Beside our homeland, there are not only the forests, grasslands, and streams, but also the buildings, villages, and those mechanical animals running on roads all day which we had never known until we went out of our habitats. As we were planning our journey, we were worried about whether we would be stuck by the sun, rain, and strong winds after leaving our forest. But soon we realized that these concerns were unnecessary. On our way, we found us still surrounded by flowers, grasses, and huge trees. Sometimes when we were hungry, we went into the corn fields and ate a lot. The owners never hurt or yelled at us. Instead, they preferred watching us eating. Besides, they gave us a lot of food. Yunnan, with its amazing beauty, is worthy to visit. We visited many villages and were astonished by their charm again and again. We went into their places, drank water from the faucets. It tasted as fresh and sweet as we had in our forest. We have no regret having this journey. However, we do have some regrets for not having visited several places during the trip. For instance, we did not try the Fruit of Legend Cross Bridge Rice Noodles. Maybe people there thought we would only eat corn and bananas, so they did not give us a chance. But we really would like to have a try. We heard that COP15 was held in the International Conference and Convention Center, Kunyu. We wanted to take a look around there, but we failed. That's a pity. And we also regret that we didn't go to the Sleeping Beauty, the Dianshu Lake, which covers an area of about 330 square kilometers. We finally gave up the idea of visiting since we won't disturb her dream. Here we also want to share our feelings with you. The mankind, you have a good heart, feeding us all the way and showing us the direction with the high-tech flying machines which makes us avoid detours. But you sometimes embarrassed us, such as taking photos and videos of our private life. You peeped at our life when we were sleeping when our children were quarreling, swimming, playing, stumbling, falling off, even fighting. You uploaded all our private information onto the internet, exposing us to people around the world. It did make us a little nervous and embarrassed. However, we need to admit that we did make our friends envy by posting our photos and videos of the journey to the social media. 
Snoopy Gold and Snub-Nosed Monkeys, Brain Peacocks and Black Neck Cranes have told me their desire to visit here. We also receive attention from our relatives living in Africa. They are all jealous of our travel experience. After all, we want to thank you for your kindly help all the time. During our round trip, we felt happy and secure. We saw a lot of beautiful spots and ate many tasty foods. More importantly, it allows us to learn more about you. Your kindness increases our confidence for the harmonious coexistence between wild animals and human. The Earth is our common home. Let us treat the Earth like our mothers. We made this trip without a detailed plan. Thank you again for tolerating all the troubles during this hasty trip. We will do better next time. Thank you. Wish a better future for our common home. From a herd of Asian elephants returning home happily. August the 8th, 2021.